Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Chitra. In this video, I'm going to be taking you along with me as I'm going to be doing a declutter, deep cleaning and reorganizing marathon in a few areas in my home. I will be starting off first in the kitchen area. I'll be working in zones. First would be the fridge come freezer. Then I do the pantry and then the kitchen and then later on I go to the other parts of the home. I'm going to be using the same organizers and I'm not going to be spending a lot of money on this. Let's do the fridge cum freezer. Our fridge cum freezer is from this uh, company called Vitsuk. This is a local Swiss brand and it is called Fertzinkerei Zug because it is uh, based in Canton of Zug and they make all these kitchen appliances and even washing machine and dryers. Most of the Swiss houses install this because they're really very good quality and they're energy efficient. The disappointment with this one which when we were buying and, and once it is installed is that the organizers or the shelves on the door are also very small. I have to squeeze in the milk bottle and so I don't store a lot of stuff here. Inside the fridge the depth is not very deep. Previously I had Tupperware fridge smart and unfortunately it was not fitting into this so I had to revamp. The way I clean my fridge is I use the dishwasher for cleaning all the glass shelves and the door shelves. I run them through a glass cycle. In the meantime, I clean everything with an all-purpose uh, ecological cleaner to do the door and remaining surfaces in the fridge. Freezer drawers I wash by hand. I usually transfer all the stuff in the cool bags or in the downstairs refrigerator and that way they don't get a freezer burn and they don't spoil when I put them back in. The best time for me to clean is between January to February then I can use the outdoor refrigerator and the garden. I put them all in cool bags and leave them out or I do it in late autumn when it is cooler. Let me start with the cleaning and I will take you along as I organize the fridge. Here I have my dry sourdough starter, here wet sourdough starter. I just refreshed my sourdough starter yesterday. This is a garden beetroot. We harvested this sometime in November and they are still fresh after two months. This box really saves me the wastage from the garden produce. So this is almost three months old and it's still fresh. There's no fungus, nothing. And we have been juicing them. This is the biggest size. This is about 9.9 .9 liters and I can store all the longer vegetables like leek and celery, then also bigger uh, cauliflowers and broccoli. They really fit well. I have two, one in this fridge and one downstairs. I removed out the vegetable tray which came here. It was nothing special. It was just a normal standard tray. I removed it and in this space I gained, I keep the homemade yogurt. I usually plan the fridge and freezer cleaning during the night. That way it doesn't disturb our day activities. I can unload um, all the things from the fridge and transfer it down to the cellar and run the shelves and all these containers in the dishwasher cycle. Next day after breakfast, I usually start to reorganize things back in the fridge. I run the cycle with the glass program and that way it is not 
damaging the glass shelves which I have loaded and it's also a faster cycle. In the meantime, I clean the fridge and the freezer. I like to leave the door open that way it is drying very quickly and I use an all-purpose organic cleaner for cleaning the walls and the door. Now it's time to assemble everything back into the fridge. This is an excellent cheese box. I'm not buying any Tupperware in some time because they are always on the pricey end. And I got it long back and I have kept up with it. I maintained it that way. I'm able to actually save money. I don't want to buy a cheaper organizer and throw it off. But like this, uh, it's a one-time investment and I have used it for so many years and they're working well. This is the smallest one for organizing the cheese because the bigger one doesn't really fit. This was from my older apartment and a big one was never fitting in so I got the mini one. And since I have a bigger uh, fridge downstairs in the cellar, during Christmas and uh, New Year and during the other times when I buy a little bit in bulk then I store those cheeses in that bigger box doesn't stink in the fridge there's another tip which I have I usually store a little bit of baking soda so that it absorbs all the order and then a cut lemon so now I'm going to put this fridge box here this is some raclette cheese I have my sourdough starter I started also a dry sourdough starter but this is just in case of emergency I need I have it ready this is the older Tupperware fridge smart and you have this um, rills like uh, grooves down and this way the water gets collected so the vegetable doesn't get soggy I don't even need to put any cloth or kitchen towel inside and then this vent here is uh, very practical now this lemon is a medium breather so i use one vent there's some air circulation going and rarely i have some lemon which goes bad but usually they keep for two months even generally all green leafy vegetables are uh, heavy breather so you leave both the vents open um, sea buckthorn berry infused in honey i made this in autumn this is a great immune booster without cooking and i love it we also like to put it on bread toast or just eat it like that with a little bit of yogurt it tastes great then i have some yogurt cottage cheese and cream cheese In the lowmost shelf on the door, I have all the raw milk in these bottles and the other bottle is also an organic pasteurized milk but it is not homogenized milk and that is what I can maximum fit in this. Sometimes I do store some iron supplements down here. To contain the spillage from these tubes, I use this IKEA organizers. This is the maximum that can fit in over here. I tried to use some other organizers previously, but it didn't work out. And this was really a nice opportunity to use the latest one. And let's move on to the freezer. In the freezer, in the first drawer, I usually store fresh raw cream. And then I have also some ice cubes in those two containers. And some green chilies and fresh yeast which I freeze. Usually when I don't plan my sourdough bread then I make also yeast bread but that's so rare nowadays. I usually plan well ahead in time because sourdough takes longer to rise and ferment and you have to plan it well ahead. And then in the middle shelf I have also some cut coconuts, some frozen chilies from our garden produce and some frozen tomatoes. I usually also like to store some 
cold compress in the freezer in case we get hurt or something then it's very practical to have them and in the last drawer I have stored all the frozen berries this is all I can store in this freezer as you can see it's not a huge one I have already posted an older video, there's not much of change here and it has pretty much stayed the same. On the topmost are all my sourdough starters and then the cheese box and I also have in the small glass bottle some cut almonds. In the middle one I even store apple, then I have some lemon and some carrots in these older Tupperware boxes then beside it in those organizers I also stored some cottage cheese, some pastry dough, then some yogurt. And here is our homegrown beetroot towards the right, then I have some ginger. I don't have chili, usually in the smaller Tupperware I have some chilies. Then I have also in the left bell peppers and also lemon. Because these are light breathers, you can store them together. But beetroot, carrots and apples, these are really practically not heavy breathers. So you have to close both the vents and you can store them together. But I prefer to store the apples separately. And in the downmost shelf, I have all the other vegetables which are longer and which are a little bit bigger and here I can store quite a lot of vegetables as you can see this is a from scratch cooking fridge there's hardly any ready prepped or ready meals in it about these different sauces I also have some jam this is not homemade I usually have a lot of homemade jam and then some veganies and a curry paste which I use so rarely which I got from the Indian store then I have some tamarind pulp above it and on the top most I usually have butter and an overflow of butter. I hope you enjoyed watching these videos and you like my organization and decluttering videos. If you are new to this channel kindly subscribe. I usually post videos or at least try to post once a week on food from scratch, Swiss country living, gardening and natural recipes. See you in my next video. Bye bye.